Now make sure your reel is exactly where you want it, where it's centered from that side to that side. And then we're just going to pull this straight back and figure out where to put it. We're going to put it right here, which means right here is where we need to clean. And so I would recommend making sure it's dry and clean because we're going to stick Velcro to it. Once it's super dry and clean in that little spot, we can then take off the Velcro or take off the adhesive on the Velcro. This is always a little fun. Okay, don't get any fingerprints or dirt or anything on that and just make sure it's straight down straight down right there and then press down really good now you should never even need to you should never even have to pull off this velcro but as you can see you can if you ever needed to. You shouldn't really need to, I guess, if you're taking your cover off. So then the once you get all of them all the way across, which I haven't done yet, then you're going to adjust the lengths of these so they're all the same length. So now we've got one of them adjusted. There's some extra material here, which I'd recommend keeping for now. It doesn't hurt. And right now we've got it just slightly lifting up on the pool cover and coming back here. And we're going to put them all in so they all have the same amount of tension so that when you roll the cover, it pulls all of them at the same exact time. Now as we move on to putting them all in, here's an example of just laying them out evenly spaced. You don't have to use the ruler and get it perfect but you can just lay them all out and then as you lay them all out it makes it really easy to just drop one in and just drop it right where you had it if you can't do this you might have to cut it out some some covers are tougher than others that covers pretty easy though but you just keep moving down the line and then as you move down the line don't forget to cut out and as you move down the line don't forget to cut out the slot on each one.